So I'm here with the Todd. You've been in Scrubs for you were in you Scrubs. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm the big dog. How have you been uh, enjoying your time up here in Newcastle? First of all, my appearance here at the Newcastle Film and Comedy Co Club. Club? It's not even a club, it's a con. It can only hurt my career. It can only hurt. Uh, I just hope to go home without contracting herpes. What? That's No, that's the wrong Comic-Con. No, this is a great Comic-Con here in Newcastle. I've been to some great pubs, and uh, uh, I've seen some great rugby matches, some great soccer matches. None of this is true. And what else? What was your question? Uh, just, just how you enjoy Newcastle, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, next question. No, I love Newcastle. I love Newcastle. It's a very interesting town, very friendly, quaint, uh, beautiful people. Uh, and uh, so far, so good. So you were in Scrubs for about nine years. Uh, what, what would you say are some of your highlights of it? Uh, any scene where I wore a banana hammock was a highlight. Uh, not for me, but for the ladies and the dudes. Uh, other than that, any scene where I got to show off my guns uh, and where I made sexual innuendos in your endo. Cheeky. Cheeky. Cheeky monkey. Cheeky. Ricky Gervais. Now, if you had to play someone else from Scrubs, if you didn't get, uh, get the Todd, who would you play? I, I would like to play Dr. Cox so I could berate people. Uh, and then I would like to play JD so that I could have a a different love interest every week as a guest star who I would try to have sex with in real life. Uh, yeah, so what's the science between such a good high five? You know, there's really, you can't overthink it. A high five is just an organic thing. It just comes naturally. I like to high five hard. Then I like to nap, cat nap. And then when I wake up, I like to high five again, two times two times but well, can you give us a quick demonstration uh, I would need a volunteer oh you're ready my hand is tribute interview five